Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another Craftsman's Corner video. In this episode, we're going to go over sort of just different updates. Some of them are going to be from videos that I filmed and then uh, things I'm going to be working on soon, um, current projects and videos, as well as uh, some subscriber projects in the end. I've really enjoyed putting all those pictures in the last episode and everyone has since has been sending me a lot more pictures of the different projects they're building, so you can continue to do that in the future. Um, uh, the first thing I want to mention, I'm going to kind of breeze through this. I've got a list. That's what I'm staring at. I'm not just looking at the ground. Uh, the trestle table video. I was really happy with the way that whole thing went. Everyone's input and then the way I ended up making the video. So uh, most of you have already kind of responded. I'm not asking for a response. I just wanted to sort of say thank you. Um, I like doing that single video that just kind of shows it in its full process but without being over explained and I think that would appeal to a wide range of people but then following up with those more detailed videos is going to sort of satisfy all those people who want to know every last detail and uh, so I hope you all enjoyed that. In the frame saw video my favorite uh, part of um, people's response was the uh, shock and awe at the shoes I was wearing and I put them on for this video just for fun. Uh, these are my Crocs and they're not even real Crocs, they're fake Crocs and I had people tell me that they wanted to give me a thumbs down just for that. I probably deserve it. Um, you get these at Family Dollar. They're $8. They're an official sponsor of the Homestead Craftsman uh, YouTube channel. Not really, but uh, that's where you get them. Um, and I enjoy doing that frame solve video. I did that sort of as a break as a result of working on that big table and all the editing and everything that I had to do. So it's kind of fun just to get outside and do something like that. I didn't need to make that saw. It was just something I've been wanting to do for a while. And it'll come in handy for certain projects that I'm working on. And I've got more videos sort of in that style coming up soon of some different things that I'd like to make. Um, and different types of just projects I'd like to uh, work on in general. Uh, another upcoming um, um, uh, upcoming video It's going to be totally unrelated. It's going to be me changing the oil in my truck. So I thought I'd explain now why I'm doing a video like that. Uh, for one, I think it's something that's handy for people to know. I don't have my, I don't change my own oil all the time. I do it on occasion. Most of the time I go get it done somewhere. It's a messy job. You end up with a bunch of oil. Um, I don't feel like less of a man because I pay somebody $20 at Jiffy Lube to change it. And I'm not driving anything super nice that I need some sort of expensive uh, special oil anyway. Uh, but I needed to change the oil in my truck the other day because I had to drive a little ways off to get this trailer and I was already several thousand miles over the uh, mileage. So I did that, put together a quick video using this camera which films nice and um, and the main reason though is just because I was doing it already and I thought it would be an okay topic for the channel but also to where I can um, reach other people of other interests if you just keep a sort of a really specialized uh, uh, topic, you usually are just catering to the same people and why I really enjoy uh, interacting with all of you regulars. I like to try to pull other people in too because a guy who might be interested in changing his oil for the first time might also enjoy some woodworking videos. So it's a way for me to gotta kind of get a more diversified crowd watching the videos and then they give me feedback and I can uh, improve things from there. Uh, another video that's coming up, and this one's going to see be sort of on a larger level like the trestle table video, is going to be building a 16 foot long farm table. It's four feet wide, so it's a monster table with six legs. And that made its first little appearance in the video that I did with making the um, farm table benches. So I have that video and those sets of plans, and in the end of that video, I showed the table that those all those benches went with. So it's going to be building that uh that table and that's going to be one single video but then I've got several different things that I did while filming that video for example turning short boards into long enough boards to make that tabletop so I broke that video down into some sort of like smaller videos as well but they won't be specific to that farm table like the uh, uh, progress videos were of the oak table um, so that's it for upcoming videos there's a lot more coming up but those are sort of the more immediate ones uh, let's see what else we got um, on Facebook, I recently posted a little video explaining something about my radial arm saw that someone asked uh, a question about. And so um, I ended up making that video because it was too complicated to answer it in a message. So I really thought that would be a good idea moving forward to answer questions and be able to tell a bunch of people very quickly in maybe a minute or two long video. So if you have that type of thing, I'd like to turn that into a regular thing. Maybe have that be something that I post on weekends when I w no wouldn't normally 
post a video and I can let you know maybe, you know, if there's any products related to the question, I can maybe do like a little miniature Facebook article that would go along with that video. So if you would like to submit some questions to be considered for those little short videos, let me know. You can do that on Facebook or down in the comments, send me a message, whatever. Um, Instagram. I just started an Instagram account, a fellow named Grady Hollers, um, that watches my videos and uh, talks with me on Facebook. He's been suggesting it for a while, as well as other people. And so I went ahead and uh, uh, did so. I've never had a smartphone of any sort. I use a flip phone. It's over there right now. It's a $10 flip phone for $30 a month. But I went and bought a smartphone, an $80 smartphone, nothing too special and um, I just use it on wireless. So in town, uh, I can pick up wireless all over the place so I can use it as a camera and a video camera and uh, do whatever I want. And then once I'm in wireless range, I can post pictures to things like uh, Instagram and respond to stuff on Facebook a little quicker. So I hope that is something that's adding to the channel for y'all. Um, I also signed up for Reddit. That uh, just post a picture on that on occasion uh, or a link to a video. Um, you know, I'm doing all this stuff under the Homestead Craftsman, so you can kind of search it if you'd like. At Reddit, I'm just posting some stuff in the woodworking, um, uh, in the woodworking little uh, subreddit or whatever they're called over there. Let's see. I'm getting a lot of emails from subscribers, and these are new subscribers. So what I wanted to say to y'all, if you're new, um, this is in relation to the questions that they're all asking me, is um, I sell furniture plans for a lot of the... Um, pieces that you're asking about. I get a lot of questions about farm tables. So you can uh, check out those plans if you're interested in making a table. I get a lot of people asking about dimensions and certain details. Those plans will uh, fully show how things are made. Um, I get a lot of questions as well about selling furniture. My first ebook that I wrote is about developing products that you can sell. Um, and it kind of goes through my process that I used to uh, make my farm tables and the thinking that I went into that to develop that as a product that I can successfully sell here locally. Um, and that brings me to my new book. I'm working on sort of the second part. It's not really a second part of that book, but the next one in sort of the series, and that's going to be on marketing. So the first book is developing a product, coming up with something to sell, and the next book is about how to actually sell it. And basically it just goes over everything that I've done that works for me and different thoughts and ideas that I think will help you um, do the same. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for running my mouth. The next thing I want to do is just quickly show you the trailer that I recently got. And uh, then we're going to move on to subscriber projects. Um, and a quick note on subscriber projects. Uh, the best way to send those to me is to email it to my Gmail. So that's thehomesteadcraftsman at gmail.com. You want to send the largest picture you can, and you want it in the horizontal orientation. So if this is a photograph, you want the photograph like this. That way, when I kind of crop that picture, it fills the video screen and doesn't look like this with black left and right. That really loses a lot of detail. Um, another thing is, is a lot of people are taking these pictures on smartphones, and they give you the option to take the picture in a 16 by 9 ratio, which is the ratio of your TV screen most likely, or the videos that I'm making at least, and that will fully film, uh, fill the screen without any cropping necessary. Um, and as far as angle goes, try to take one picture that uh, shows the whole thing off, and then that way I don't have to show like five or six different pictures, and it lets more people be able to show their pictures in each video. So that's it for now. Let's take a quick look at my lumber log, whatever I want to put on it trailer, and then we'll take a look at y'all's projects. The trailer is 16 feet long, 7 feet wide on the deck. It has mobile home axles underneath. Uh, I think they're rated for about 10,000 pounds total. It has a truck work box mounted to the tongue and then really big ramps on the back. And this trailer is very heavy duty. The fellow that I bought it from made it. It's all made out of uh, large thick gauge channel iron and there's also channel iron that runs across the width uh, acting as sort of joist to support the wooden deck. Um, it's got marker lights all around. It's got really good anchor points. You can see all these pieces. And the guy did a really nice job welding everything up. I'll show you. you, know, you can see the quality of all the welds. Let me zoom right in. So everything looks, you know, really good and clean. 
Um, he knows what he's doing. He welded professionally making, um, I think, roof trusses for big flat roofs. And the deck looks a little rough, but the wood's still solid, so I'm not going to, you know, it's a trailer. It's going to get scratched up and turn gray anyway from sitting in the weather, so I'm not going to go too far. My plan is to turn this into a, you know, a multi-use trailer, but I still want to always be able to do whatever I need to use it for and not turn it strictly into like a log hauling trailer, for example. Uh, many of you have probably seen Matt Cremona's channel. He's got a log loading arch on the back of his trailer, which is a great idea. And I think the, I think the other fellow, if you want to look up more stuff like that, I think he mentioned one time Tom the Sawyer or something like that, um, is the name of the fellow that he kind of got that initial idea from, I think, as far as what I saw from one of his videos. And, um, and then log loading, uh, log arches and stuff, of course, is a common thing for hauling logs out of the wood woods anyway behind tractors, four-wheelers, and all that. He's just kind of integrated one into a trailer to be able to lift the log and pull it forward at the same time. So that really aids in uh, loading logs. But for me, I still want to be able to access the back of my trailer for using ramps like these. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably do a lot of the loading from the side, and I'm going to set it up either side with uh, hitch receivers mounted on both sides to where I can move a winch from either side and then pull logs up ramps. And that's, that'll be made possible by the fact that this deck of this uh, trailer is as tall as the tires. I can have jacks that come down on the corners, keep the suspension from loading up once the log starts going up. So they'll stay out of the way, roll the log right up, and uh, be able to do that from either side. I'm also probably going to make these ramps be able to come off because it makes the trailer a little rear end heavy when it's empty, which creates kind of a light tongue weight which makes the trailer really shaky and it just kind of feels like it's a little rough back there. If you just have a little more tongue weight, it's going to ride a little smoother. Most of that will be cured when I toss the things I want in this box here. That's just an aluminum truck box, but it'll be a great place for keeping jacks and straps and all those different things that you need when you're kind of hauling around different materials and getting out of jams and stuff. Um, again, the trailer uh, axles our mobile home axles and everything looks like it's in really good condition. It's got nice Power King uh, low boy tires on there. So they're brand new, so that's not something I'm going to have to replace. And I've heard, uh, you know, people fuss and say things about mobile home axles, but then again, you hear people say they've had trailers for 20 and 30 years with mobile home axles. Just keep the bearings greased and make sure the nuts are tight and you're, you're going to be fine. I know a lot of people that have the trailers personally too, and they've never said anything negative about them. Um, all in all, I think it's a really nice trailer for what I paid for it. Um, if I bought something like this new of this sort of level of heavy dutiness, it would be out of my price range, really. So this made it possible for me to get exactly what I want. It's sort of like my truck. When it popped up, extended cab, extended uh, bed, four-wheel drive, and um, just all around it fit exactly what I wanted, and I got a good deal on that. And the trailer was the same thing, uh, 16 feet long, 10,000 pounds, um, and kind of a high deck. And I even really was wanting one of these too. Of course, that's not a tricky thing to get, but it's nice just when you can go pick it all up and not have to piece things together. So that's it on the trailer. We'll talk more about it in the future. And let's finish things off with you guys' projects. First up are some table legs made by Bill Peck. And these are hollow, and they were made with some sort of a lock miter joint. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a router or what it was, but they look pretty good. Next is a bed by Cody Bryant. You can see some rough sawn lumber on the headboard. A bench by Cody Berkson. And here's a bed by Daryl Preston. He had a submission last time. Up next is an indoor dog kennel by Grady Hollers. Um, Jacob Landrip. This is a nice little trestle table. And here's a table by Jeremy Ballard. And Joey Sheffield sent me this. It's a little cedar bench. Kevin Godick. This is, I guess, sort of an entertainment center of sorts with uh, little barn doors. A farm table by Omar Hake. And here's a walnut table by Robert Daniels, all mortise and tenon joinery, very clean design. Steve Spurlock sent me this. It was a table he modeled off of my farm tables, as well as the benches. And Stu Miller sent me this knife made out of a Nicholson file. And a uh, fella named Ted sent me these pictures. This is a bar top with some brackets, all made out of walnut. 
as well as a trestle table made out of walnut too. Very nice piece. I like that stretcher being made out of that live edge board. Thank you all for sending these pictures. I really enjoyed seeing them and I hope you all enjoyed seeing them as well. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can click the little round icon over the red subscribe uh, button on the screen now and you'll get updates when I post future videos. And be sure to check out my website, homesteadcraftsman.com for more. Thanks for watching.